Welcome to Dr. Quentin Richmond's daily television broadcast, Road to Eternal Life. Dr. Richmond would like to share his books, his music, and a daily message with your heart. Join him on his journey on the road to eternal life.
from the uh, second chapter of Hosea, beginning at the fifth verse. For their mother hath played, for their mother has played, she has conceived them, hath done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers that give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, mine oil and my drink. And she shall follow after her lovers, but she shall not overtake them. And she shall seek them, but shall not find them. Then shall she say, I will go and return to my first husband, for then was it better with me than now. For she did not know that I gave her corn and wine and oil, and multiplied her silver and gold, which they had prepared for Baal. Therefore will I return and take away my corn in the time thereof, and my wine in the season thereof, and will recover my wool and my flax given to her for her nakedness. I'd like for you to notice in this, that gives us a picture here of a wife that went after other lovers and forsaked her own husband. And you know that the husband's heart was broken. And you know how he felt when she went after other lovers. And she didn't know that her husband gave her her food and her drink and her clothing which she did wear. She thought that she would go after other lovers and therefore satisfy the lust of the flesh. And we have a picture here of the church. The church today and this world is seeking after lovers, other lovers. They're seeking after pleasure, lovers of pleasure, lovers of money. They're seeking after lovers of the flesh to satisfy the own flesh. And it says that they have gone after their own lustful way that they might seek after other lovers. And we know that many in the world today, even the churches in this present day, are forsaking God. And like as in Hosea, when Hosea's wife went after other lovers, uh, so is the church going after other lovers today. It may be a sad picture. It may seem a little out of proportion that the church should be that way. You would say that all of the, those that seek after other things is those that aren't saved. But it is... Uh, dreadful to know that the church of the living God, they profess Christianity. They that say they have salvation have sought after other things and have forsaken the living God. In 1 Timothy 6, 9 it says, But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which some have uncovered after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. If we get uh, God out of our mind and we forsake God and we go after anything of the world, after money, a lot of preachers that have been called to preach that have once preached the word of God have forsaken the calling of God, have forsaken the anointing that was once upon them and have forsaken God 
to go after work that they might satisfy their own lustful way. But the scripture tells us that the birds of the air they sow not, neither do they gather into barns, yet their heavenly Father feedeth them. It said, Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They tall not, neither do they spin. We have a lot of preachers that come and go a certain way, and every time they come a little persecution, a little criticism, they throw up their hands. Don't you know that God is able to make his grace abound toward you unto all sufficiency and make you to grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ? A lot say, I cannot preach the gospel because I have no means of support in my family. You seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added unto you. It said, they that have gone after their own way and have sought after riches have pierced themselves with, through with many sorrows. But I tell you, the church of the living God should be upon their knees and should seek him that is able to bring them through victorious. And over in Colossians it said to set your affections on things that are above and not on the things of the earth, for you should be dead and your life should be hid with Christ in God. We need to hide ourselves away in Christ Jesus. We need to get out of our life the lustful flesh and the spirit of the flesh which rises up against the spirit of God. It was in us and the Holy Ghost that was in us that are uh, leading us forth to go and preach his word and tell lost men and women that Jesus is coming again. We said to tell them that want to seek after the worldly pleasures, those that want to seek after riches, those that want to get all of this earth good before they serve Jesus, it's said to tell, charge them that are rich in this world not to be high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God that give us richly all things to enjoy. And it's said that, G, that the Lord in that day, he led the children of Israel, he caused them to hunger, he caused them to thirst. It's said that he humbled them and suffered them to hunger and fed them with manna, which they knew not, neither did their fathers know, that he might make them to know that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. We have a lot of people, when they, when they start serving the Lord, they'll say, I'll go through with him all the way. And the very minute there comes a time that they don't seem to have anything, they can't have any, they don't seem to be able to get any revivals, they don't seem to get any encouragement from anyone, and they say, well, I don't believe it's the will of the Lord for me to preach. I tell you, that is the trick of the Satan, that is the trick of the devil. God has called his people, every man and woman whom he has saved to preach the gospel and witness of the Lord Jesus, because the world has plenty of workers, but Christ is seeking for someone to spread the gospel to the four corners of the earth. And I tell you, when persecution comes, when criticism comes, you get down and pray and see that God will answer from heaven. He said before you called, he would answer. I tell you, there are too many seeking after other lovers. There are too many seeking after the worldly pleasures and forsaken God. It said in the time that they forsake, so God, it said they had no peace when they went out. They had no peace when they come in. But it said the peace of God passes all understanding. And it said all oh, the unsearchable riches of Christ's glory. It said who is able to understand? The Spirit of God is able to reveal unto his own, his own elect the secret things of God and to cause the faith to rise in her heart, and to go forth triumphant in Jesus' name. And it says over here in 2 Corinthians, uh, Chronicles, the 15th verse, and this, the 15th chapter and the 2nd verse, it says, The Lord is with you while you be with him. And if you seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. And in those days there's no peace. There came one time a young man started out in the ministry and it said it looked like everything was against him. It looked like nobody cared for him. It looked like all had forsaken. It seemed as though the black cloud had settled over his head. And so he asked the parson one time, said, uh, what can I do? What can I do? And the parson looked at him and said, he said, when you come to the end of your way, when it looks as if that there is nothing but blackness, no hope, 
said, get down upon your knees and pray. When Satan has come in, it said that the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. It said, he told that young boy to get down upon your knees and pray. And he said, you'll hear from heaven. Let me ask you today, when you come to a place of discontentment and there seems to be no one to encourage you, there is still one that careth for you who said, Cast all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. The Lord Jesus Christ said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, but I will go with you even unto the end of the world. He'll never leave you alone. He will go with you through the shadows. He will go with you through the blackness of night. He will go with you along that blackened road. He will help you to not stumble. He will keep you and will give his angels charge over you that you might have the divine protection of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you may look into him. But to this young boy, he said, be sure that you pray on this side of the fence. In other words, when you pray, pray while you're still on God's side. Don't wait till you get over the fence on the devil's side, lest the tempter overcome you. No one upon their own strength is able to overcome Satan, cause Satan has great power. But the Lord Jesus Christ said that he will give us power over all of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The Lord Jesus Christ has come that we might have victory. The Lord Jesus Christ has come that we might walk with him, that we might follow in his steps, that we might look unto the approaching of that day when the Lord shall return again, when he shall come to receive his home into heaven itself and there shall give you a crown of glory. He said, if any man will find their life, they shall lose it. But if you lose your life for Christ's sake, you shall find it. And it said, that the scripture tells us that it pre pleased God by the foolishness of preaching that souls should be saved. It said also that the preaching of the gospel is foolishness unto them that perish, but unto us that believe it is the power of God unto salvation. I tell you, Jesus is alive. He ever liveth to make intercession for you. Don't let money stand in your way. Don't let lovers of money stand in your way. Don't seek after other lovers. Don't seek after the lover of money. Don't seek after the lover of pleasure. Don't seek after the lover of our own flesh, but let us seek after him that will save us from death, that will save us from the lake of fire that burneth with fire and brimstone. Jesus Christ has come to deliver those in the prison house. Jesus Christ has come to set you free and give you deliverance. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with all thine heart. Seek him while he may be found. Believe on him. He is crying out unto your soul. The heart of God is grieved every time you turn away his call. He stands at the door and knock. He said that if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. And I will give him to drink of that living fountain. And he shall taste of the glory of my spirit and shall rejoice therein and shall be glad. Oh, thanks be unto God. If there's those in the radio line today that have a sickness, if there's anyone that is depressed, if there's anyone that's staying as a present, Jesus Christ said, I have come to set you free. And the Spirit of the Lord was upon him, it said, that he was sent to preach the gospel, and he died that the gospel might be preached. And he said, he has come to heal the brokenhearted and delivering those that sit in darkness, he will set free. Father, in Jesus' name we come before thee upon the authority of God's word and commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray right now that those that have infirmities and sickness and disease by the mighty power of Jesus, we command thee, Satan, in the name of thy master, thy conqueror, Jesus, that thou will leave the souls of God's people, that thou will uh, lay thy hands, will withdraw thy hand from God's own elect whom he has called and 
and has written their names in heaven. We charge thee, Satan, to leave. We charge thou, Satan, that has afflicted God's people to remove that affliction right now. For Jesus Christ has come and thy spirit must go. Go, Satan, in Jesus' name. For Jesus is making thee whole. Neighbor, rise and believe God for thine affliction and infirmity. For Jesus has loosed thee and let thee go free. As a sinner I was crying At an altar of prayer Will I be forgiven? Will I see heaven fair? Then came a voice from heaven Saying, Son, be of good cheer Your sins have been forgiven For your Savior is here Amen isn't he gaining gaining eternal gifts it's true those who live for Christ gain everything then come and live for Jesus too A smile of bliss came o'er my face, a glorious change of hue. It was redemption, saving grace, a spiritual blessing too. My wasted life of dread and fears, and my sin-laden soul. In prayer to heaven he made me pure, white, and whole. Isn't he gaining? Gaining eternal gifts, it's true. Those who live for Christ gain everything and come and live for Jesus too. of sorrow paved my path of shame my deeds were evil with sins am I to blame in my despair I cried in prayer to Jesus is his name now all my sins truly forgiven I'm redeemed Gain isn't he gaining gaining eternal gifts it's true those who live for christ gain everything and come and live for jesus too those that live for christ Gain everything and come and live for Jesus too. Forsaking God is my worst part Lord, I need your glorious grace Please help me, God I repent in haste I am coming home Coming home Lord, I am coming home My soul is sick of sins I cannot bear Redeem me, Lord, with your loving care Coming home, coming home Lord, I'm coming home I'm persuaded that 
Neither death or life can separate me from the love of Christ. Neither angels nor power in the world to come can keep me from praising Him, God's Son. I am coming home, coming home, Lord, I am coming home. My soul is sick of sins I cannot bear. Redeem me, Lord, with your loving care. Coming home, coming. Thoughts of peace and love, that's true. Happiness and peace, I'm partaker in Christ, for He is the way, the truth, and eternal life. I am coming home, coming home. My soul is sick of sins I cannot bear. Redeem me, Lord, with your loving care. Coming home, coming home. Lord, I'm coming home. Lord, I'm coming. So hard copy books are available online at $38. These are non-video books. They're hard copy books. And they're available at Amazon.com, UnitedKingdom.com, BarnesandNobles.com, and all local bookstores everywhere. For books online, go to www.RoadToEternalLife.com. You can also email Dr. Richmond at QBRichmond at MSN.com. To call him, you can go to 727-446-2030. That's 727-446-2030. To view more WMOR broadcasts, click Playlist. And Radio Monday through Friday live broadcasts are available on www.watvnetwork.com. Buy these songs and books while their copies last and while the prices are reduced. (laughs) 